This is Mrs. Edna Pierce Lockett. We're at her house today. We're going to talk about uh, some of the history and take a look at the inside and outside of her house. How are you and Edna? Well, I'm fine. <laughs> I think this is great to what you're doing, and I'm very pleased to talk to you about my house. This is one of the, or is the oldest house in Highlands County. It was built by my grandmother, Martha A. Pierce, Martha Lanier Pierce, who was my father's mother. She built the house. Then my father bought it from the estate. And then uh, after we lived in it a while, and after my mother and father were gone, I inherited it. And um, so I have changed and modernized the house. It was built in, during the Spanish-American War. And uh, General Zachary Taylor was here. But Levi Pierce, my great great grandfather, was the one who who fought in the Spanish American War, and uh, they the government of the Spanish government paid all the soldiers off mm. in money or land. So he chose land. So he t decided on this spot on the Pacific River, which was a very high area, big beautiful oak trees and he decided this is where he liked to own and so my land goes back to a Spanish grant and I feel very proud of that uh, because we were the first family in Highlands County. It was originally Manatee County then Manatee County was, was uh, divided and then it was Soda County. Then later they divided the Soda County and made this part here Highlands County. So I have lived here. Oh, I was born here and I've lived here all my life except for a few years. I lived in London, England. I went on a, a, a tour <laughs> of Europe. Bill Lockett, my husband, on the Queen Mary. And after we were we met, we became in love. And later, three years later, we were married. At the time, I was in the Florida legislature. And I served my time out all except one year when we were married in the First Methodist Church here in Seabury. Then we left and went back to England to live. So I was over there. We made two trips a year back here. He stayed in New York, and I would come down here and take care of the business of my ranch and get everything where I felt like everything was being taken care of. So I'm very proud of my family and my heritage and to be a because we are the first family of Highlands County. And I'm very proud of that. That's very good, and I appreciate you doing that. You're in the wrong business. You shouldn't be in the cattle business. You should have been a TV commentator. TV. That was very good. Yeah, but just off the go. Well, that was tremendous, tremendous. Uh, well, let's take a look around at the house and look at some of your furnishings and, and uh, paintings and yeah. photos and furniture and so forth. And uh, let's start. Uh, let's start right here at your fireplace. Well, uh, this house was changed completely uh, when I remodeled it. It had a, it was built an old-fashioned house by my grandmother, Lanier Pierce, and she had the house was a hall down the center of the house with rooms on each side. But a porch that went all the way around the house. So after my family, my father bought it from the estate, and he had it remodeled, and he they used one side of the 
the uh, south side of the house, a porch they screened it in and made it a screen porch with beds in it. And so my father and the cowboys slept out there. There were four beds. And I, as a little girl, I liked to sleep with my father. And he always hugged me and held me tight. And uh, I loved him dearly. And so I had just started to school. And uh, so I couldn't read or write very well. But I wrote on the wall, wall back of our bed, Edna and Pap's bed. And then what? And Pap, P-A-P-T. Oh. Pap's bed. And uh, so I have lived here all of my life, except for six years after I married Bill Lockett. And we lived in England. And then after his retirement, we came back here and lived till his death. And I am still living here today with, uh, with people living with me, so I'm not alone. That's very nice. As you can see through the camera here, this is a very, very lovely room right here and decorated with some nice <coughs> antiques. Now this, uh, what is this over here, Big Hutch? Yes. This is, uh, is this something that you got in Tallahassee or? No, I bought uh, that from a cherry decorator out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, it fits very nicely in the room. In the space it is, because the room is a big room and can take big furniture of that sort. Now I have uh, this uh, uh, furniture here which I bought in Tallahassee at an auction. Let me get a picture of that while we're talking about it. I'll have to turn around a little bit. I bought at an auction in Tallahassee. Mrs. Margaret Hodges, her husband was a, a United States Senator. They had a perfect gorgeous home. And all that furniture came from France or Europe. So she had more furniture she needed in her home. So she had a The settee and what else? And I have a couple of chairs. How about this chair here? No, over here. Not that one, okay. Let me turn around and get the other. Here's a red velvet or kind of a red velvet. There's another one over here. The other on the other side of the hutch here also. All right. French Provincial. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is a early American couch. Let right, me get a picture of it. Whoops, my. Right. So Let's see. This, Here we go. Here's a good picture of it. This is from Margaret Hodges in Dallas. This also? Yes. Uh, and then these chairs go with the, with the forearms. Print on the chairs go with This one in. And how about this chair right here that we looked at originally? It, uh, it goes with this furniture here. Oh. Okay. And this table here? Did that come with it or is that something? Well, just a piece of furniture. Uh huh. Somewhere. And this is a piano. All right, let me get a good picture of that. That's. What about this piano? What's the. Well, it's, uh, I've had, we've had it for many years. My sister played beautifully when I was. Always interested in the horse. I like to ride a horse. My father, after the cow, but she was a musician. Play better than I can sing, I'm sure. And, uh, this is a portrait of my mother. Now we can get a good picture of that. Let me get over here. Uh, and that was taken from a ten time small picture. And I said, took it to Tampa. They sent it to New York and had it. This ten time small 
This is Virginia Hollingsworth Pierce. Let me get over here real quick so I can get some of the light off of it. I think. Get a good picture of her face. All right. Handsome woman. Fresh cut it. Beautiful. Santa Claus is here. We we like to have Santa Claus present. And he's gonna give out all the gifts that we have. <laughs> and uh, I have this beautiful mirror that reflects the lights on the Christmas tree. Nice. It makes a very nice picture. Okay, I got a good picture of it. And uh, this table back here, let me get a picture of it. If I can. And I got a picture here of uh, Tell me about the picture on underneath it. My great grandfather, my grandfather, my aunts, and my aunts, and my grand great my great grandmother. And on the piano, I have pictures of my father. I'm getting a picture of that right now. I got it. <laughs> okay. And I have pictures of my of the weddings of my nieces, and nieces, nephews, and their brides at uh, after weddings. One is the Jimmy Fulton Shirley. I just got that. And one of if I can get the Guthrie's in focus here. Yeah. Here they are. Uh, Patricia. Trish and Stu. Trisha and Stu Guthrie did their wedding at the First Methodist Church in Seabury. Then we have one of uh, Patricia. There's Neil and Durance. Becky. Neil and Becky Durrance. And then uh, one of Terry and. I can't get that too good here. Let's see. Carol, and then myself and Becky. Okay. TV set. And uh, the, the large picture in the center is Bill Lock and my husband. Very handsome. Whoops. Let me get Some English looking couple. So I feel very proud of it. Uh, a girl on a poor passenger having tea with the Queen of England. I think that's great. Okay, let's look over. Let's see. We've pretty much. How about this table over here in the far corner? Well, that's and there's a fan above it. How about this picture? This looks like a fan up here. Well, it's just a 
Is that a decorative item or? That's a decorative item. Okay. Picture's taken, yeah, it's a picture. Okay, let's take a look at the, the whole room right here from a distance. Give you some idea of the high ceilings. <coughs> I don't know how this will come out, but this is quite a large room, which used to be two rooms, wasn't it? Yes. Had a hall down the center. The house had a hall down the center with, with four rooms. Which was changed in the early 60s, I suppose. Yes. That's when uh, Jim Gehring did yes. some work for you, and I was out here working at that time a little bit too. Yeah. So okay. We, we completely uh, changed the house into a more livable type of home. I'm very proud of it. Well, you have a, certainly a really lovely living room. The room, this is uh, a hallway between the, the living room and the uh, dining room and bedrooms. And we're going to take a look at uh, some clocks here real quick, some other, and some other furniture. We're looking now at a cuckoo clock we what, picked up last year? Yes. About last Christmas, I believe. Okay. And, uh, and something here that's really nice is uh, time got off a little bit on it, but it is running good. And this is a grandfather clock you've had for a number of years. Okay, and these chairs here? I didn't know that. Had them re covered with velvet to go with the room. Now this is a model of me uh, when I was in my middle teens, made by a friend of mine, and she made it by memory. She lived out of state, and she sent it to me. To See, I didn't know that either. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh... For Christmas, but we are still in the stages of getting everything cleared away. So, but this is a nice big dining room. This is room. quite a large dining room with a, a bay window, I guess you'd call it. Uh, let's get a picture of... What about this table here, Ed? Marble top to it. That's an antique table. It's also made by the same person. It's a very nice table. 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 Very nice This cupboard went with it? Yes. And my silver service. Of course, Santa Claus has kind of moved <laughs> over around here. He's got, got everybody messed up a little bit yeah. this time of the year. So he's here, and we hope that he will stay with us until after Christmas. And I wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And this piece of furniture here? Well, that was yes. that is a linen closet. It was a, a TV a set, and we took it out and made a cabinet out of okay. it that I use to keep my nice linens in it. Look at this middle middle of the room here. This uh, piece of furniture. Uh, I'm 
getting a picture of myself in the mirror. Okay. Yes, this camera will pick that up in color. So we'll look at that in a little while. See how it looks. That's pretty. All right, see if I can pick that up. Oh yeah, that'll pick up nice. I can back up just a step. Got this mural in Charlotte, North Carolina, at a very fine furniture store, and I thought it reminded me of the Kissimmee River. I've tried to pretend that this was my house. Close. <laughs> and had we used to we live on the Kissimmee River and many years ago the state boats brought freight and things down the pasture. They had several state boats from Kissimmee that came down the Kissimmee River <coughs> to bring freight and, and uh, things for the little store. So this mural from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I bought it in this lovely shop, and when I saw it, I thought, well, that just fits to my room. It looks like what I would like my house to look like. But it's pretty. It does fit in. It has the same, but it has a steep boat and the river and the pine trees and uh, the big mansion. It's what? Magnolia. Magnolias? Magnolia trees. Weeping willows? And I have magnolia trees growing in my, in my garden. We want to look in the kitchen? Yes. All right, let's walk in there. I think we've covered pretty much everything in the dining room. idea of what the kitchen looks like and it's uh, it's a large kitchen by modern standards I think that's the TV set let me go cut that turn that down a little bit picture it from another angle here here leads to the outside and this door leads into your pantry or utility room whatever you call it let me just let me just walk down here real quick and take a quick shot we got some washing machines and freezer another room. Now to get a picture of your little dining room look right here from this angle. Dinette. Breakfast room? What do we call it? Dinette or breakfast room. Okay. 
This is this is one of the, to me. This is one of the nicest rooms. A little place where you can have have breakfast or lunch. Yes, we use this room a great deal. Okay. Mirror, yes. Now let's get a picture of your. You bought this what? This right here, Tallahassee. You must have bought quite a bit of furniture at one time. Glance through it real quick here and go to the next bedroom. This Just give you. Latest piece of furniture, which is a French provincial hodge that I have all my little right. trinkets and things I've collected through the years. Okay. We... All right. This gives us a quick view of the, of the wallpaper in the bathroom and well, the mirror. might help a little bit. It's kind of dark in here. Although I think it'll pick it up pretty good. This is my mother's bedroom. Oh yeah, that made a lot of difference. Her furniture uh, over here is very old. This is her furniture? Yes. It's her furniture. Uh -huh. The dresser and the washstand over here and the bed. All oh, was a set. This is the washstand I'm looking at now, I guess. Yes, it's got the bowl on it. Yes. And these pictures up here, is that something they're that... They're just old-fashioned pictures. Her pictures? No, they're not. Just some you put up? No, okay. Put and this bed is... Good lighting here now. That's Get some good pictures. This uh, here's a sewing machine, yes. and then it's a wardrobe. kind of a closet like. Yes, I was. I bought that for my husband. His personal clothes. Okay, this is a closet. All right, nice mirror. Chester drawers here. Okay, I think we're ready to go to another room. Want to try your uh, go through your office, head on out to the uh, living room, and then. Well, we can too. All right. Queen Mother, 
visited our club one day, and this is a picture of her at the center with our elderly lady who was president of our Barefoot Women's Club. Okay, I got him. Now this is a picture of Bill Lockett, my husband. Okay, right here. I saw had a picture of Colleen, and you said Bill Lockett there. Yeah, here's a picture All right. of Colleen, my grandniece, and my father's claw watch in the dome. All right. And a Bible that I've had for many, many years. Okay, let's... like a livable, workable den. Yes. Like, which is the way it ought to look. So we have it's beautiful. Let me straighten this picture out. Alright. I haven't got a picture of that yet. That's a picture of Get some of your pictures on your wall here. Yeah, you can get this picture of the State House representative. Yeah. I did more than that. Yeah, I can get it. And uh, I was the only lady member of the House of Representatives in 1949. There you are. I can get can you I'm uh, having a heart to there. I got you. I don't know how to show up, but it's having a hard time focusing on it. But it's okay. All right. And Red, uh, uh, Maddie is my Magna Carta. I'm a member of the Magna Carta Dames. Uh-huh. Yes. Is, uh, a picture of my Magna Carta ancestry. And over to the left here is a picture of Dr. Blood M. Spivey. Who was president of Lord of College when I went to college? Is that the top picture you're talking about? The picture right here. Okay, that's what I'm zooming in on. I'm very proud of him because he was a very fine man and did a lot to build up Lord of College. The first president of Lord of College was a, a Hollingsworth. A Hollingsworth, okay. Which is my mother. It was related to my mother. My mother was a Hollingsworth. So Joshua yeah. Hollingsworth was, was the first president of Florida So I went there to college and graduated in of economics. But I haven't used it my job. Been a, had a political career and enjoyed that more than I did cooking. <laughs> <laughs> and these Just are, cooking a different product. Yeah. <laughs> This is a picture of, of the David Orange at the University of Tampa. Okay. And it's a very famous artist. I don't know what they call us. Yes, sir. Uh, heck, if I know, uh, I'll think of it in a minute. I do know. Yeah. Uh -huh. I do too. <laughs> I'll think about it in a minute. And we'll these are my library. All right, let me get a picture of them. Okay. Wait a little bit. Lanier, Hollingsworth. Uh -huh, the Hollingsworth. Oh, there they are, okay. And this last one is a, one of the Pierce coat of arms. All right, very good. This is a per beautiful table here. And this is a picture here of my father and then uh, myself. 
Uh-huh. And a picture of my husband and I. I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, this is a picture of my niece. Uh, yeah. Tracy Johnson. Yep, let's see, get a picture of her there. And then a picture of my grandfather, Pearson. Stepping out now, I think we've got the den covered real good. Uh, and right now we're looking at the number one assistant around the house here, Jenny Melvin. How are you, Mrs. Melvin? Fine, thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> and I'm going to cut it off for a Christmas present. <laughs> See what, what kind of a mess we got up there? <laughs> this room was, uh, this was part of the addition to your house, yes. correct? That's right. Well, we took the attic and made, took that room, the bath. Uh -huh. And Okay. This is a beautiful room here. Now, this furniture, is this some that you've had, or did you, uh... It's a set of furniture. My mother gave my sister me a bedroom suite of each. This is my bedroom suite that she made when I was a teenager. Teenager, I'll be darned. I can understand that. Now this bed is part of the living uh, bedroom furniture that yes. your mother gave you when you were a teenager. Yeah. And these little tables on the side, were they part of it? Yes, I think so. And perhaps a long time. Yes. Okay. They go well with it. Sure does. Let me see. What is this? Part of your furniture here wagging his tail? Yeah. She is my companion <laughs> and she loves me very much. Blackie and I have a thing going. <laughs> she goes and follows me wherever I go. So she is my constant shadow. <laughs> she looks like a shadow. <laughs> okay. What's that? Well, yes, yeah, so let's go take a look there. Yeah. Then we'll, we'll uh, go outside and uh, film the outside of your house. Yeah. All right. Now in the bath, upstairs bathroom. Which has a shower. Okay. I think that's got it pretty good. Turn the light on the shower. No, that's fine. I think we can pick it up good enough. Just a tiled shower on the inside. Okay. Good. And I'm shooting a picture of the door to the last uh, bedroom upstairs and uh, into, the, into the hallway. And now we're going down stairs. Okay, now for the next few minutes, we're going to film the outside of Mrs. Lockett's home. And we'll be filming it from different distances and different angles. 
But the first shot is from uh, the front fence in our yard to the house. And this gives you a picture of the yard and the tall oak trees that surround it. And we'll take a 360 here and give a picture, of, a good shot of the river. See the bridge, the pump for the yard here, right there. And the river as it used to run, and as it still does in front of the house. It's a boat house and then back again to the yard. Now we're taking a look from the center of her yard. This gives you a better picture of the house. Maybe a better picture of the barn. And of course a different angle of the yard. I'm right here. A picture of of the yard barn from from the front of her porch, overlooking everything. Okay, now what we're doing is getting a view of the house from the uh, west side. And uh, we'll do a 360 and get a picture of the uh, barn and the pasture and the front yard also. <clears throat> okay. Trying to catch catch the place before the sun goes down. It is the uh, shortest day of the year, December the 22nd, and it's about 3:30 in the afternoon. Still have good daylight left. One of the biggest oak trees in the county, I imagine. Right there.
around towards the back of the house. Uh, Here's the old well. And here's a picture of the back of the porch. The back porch. of the backyard. Well, Mrs. Melvin, Goodbye. we'll see you later on. Yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Okay. House behind her main house. And a picture of the chicken pen. And getting a little jumpy here with the camera. Just some of them have just been rebuilt. Picture of her garage. In the back of the pump house and smoke house. We're looking at the uh, south side of her house. This would be the kitchen and dining uh, nook area, our breakfast area. And uh, we're going to walk on around to the east side of the house. And now we're looking at the pineapple patch, which is on more or less the southwest side of, of her house. And uh, adjoining the pineapple patch is uh, a small orange grove. And now we're going to move around and get a, a picture of the east side of the house. <clears throat> And that will complete, as soon as we speak to her, our tour of Mrs. Edna Lockett's home. We're filming again, Mrs. Lockett. We just finished, I just finished walking around your house, filming outside of the house. And I want to thank you for uh, taking your time to film it and tell us some of the history of your house and your life. And the best part about it is I got a chance to fill my Aunt Edna's house. <laughs> well, it's been my pleasure, and I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, too, and we're going to cut it off. All right. All right. Well, good luck. <laughs>
Attractive. Yeah. 
wonder who broke our lock. They may have somebody else coming in here or something. They just hit this key. That's how they got that truck in here, broke that night. Somebody else broke it in. There's another truck in here. That's what we thought it in all morning. Do a wheel truck. Do a What turned around there, that truck? I don't know. Watching me, <laughs> am I doing something wrong? You do it fine. Oh, 
That's okay, Sandy. You just How much film you got? Six hours. <clears throat> got more film than got battery. We hook it up to that 12 volt. Yeah. I got a adapter to go in the cigarette lighter. Oh, you have? Yeah.
Hey, Sandy. Get a picture of our official photographer.
Yeah. How you doing? All right. I'm going to get a picture of you from this end. You are. <laughs> See you out here working. Your, hey, you're going to be your Ernie Lee. Ernie Lee. <laughs> Well, it ain't new, it's new to me. I know, but I mean, it's different <laughs> one you had, ain't it? Yeah, we had it, uh, we had it a couple months now. First thing you just hold them out of the ground, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do.